The New Orleans Saints are 5-5 five five headed into the bye week, and with Derek Carr and concussion protocol, it's time to hand the reins over to Jameis Winston. Here's why. What's going on, good people? It's your boy, Scott Proctor. You know the deal by now. This is Proctor's point of view, and as always, we love hearing feedback from you all and receiving comments like this one right here. And I got to trust this one right here, my man. You smart. I've been trying to tell people that Josh Allen is the NFL's most overrated quarterback for two years now. And now, people are finally starting to come around. You love to see it. To today's topic, though, the New Orleans Saints are undoubtedly the most talented team in the NFC South. But you wouldn't be able to tell by watching them play. They're 5-5 five and five, headed into the bye week. And their offense, which was supposed to be getting a quarterback upgrade with the addition of Derek Carr, is 18th in points per game. That ain't great. All offseason, we heard about the fact that Derek Carr has never had a top 20 defense when he was playing with the Raiders. And when he did get a good defense, the sky would be the limit. Well, the Saints defense is good. In fact, the Saints defense is top 10 in points allowed this season. Yet, the Saints are a 500 team in a weak conference and an even weaker division. To make matters worse, Carr is now in concussion protocol after taking a nasty hit during Sunday's loss to the Vikings. But that might not be the worst thing in the world for the Saints. Why? Because, truthfully, Derek Carr receivers, dating back to his time with the Raiders, have trouble staying out of trouble. Carr played with Antonio Brown and Henry Ruggs in Vegas. I don't think I need to say any more about that. He now plays with Chris Olave, who was arrested a couple weeks ago on suspicion of reckless operation of a motor vehicle, and Michael Thomas, who was just arrested last week for throwing bricks at a truck. I'm for real, go look it up. Then on Monday, Zay Jones, who caught passes from Carr in Vegas, was arrested on a domestic battery charge. So moral of the story, Derek Carr should probably stay away from the team or else Rashid Shaheed is probably next. Now I'm just playing. I don't mean to make light of those serious legal situations, but I'm not playing about Jameis Winston. He really should be the Saints starting quarterback out of the bye week, even if Derek Carr is healthy enough to play. Yes, I know Jameis threw two costly interceptions on Sunday in relief of Carr, but he also made two huge plays that Carr wouldn't have even thought about trying. The Saints were down 27-3 to to Josh Dobbs and the Vikings on Sunday when Jameis entered the game. And Jabu proceeded to throw a dime in the corner of the end zone to Chris Olave, who made just a spectacular catch. He then made arguably the throw of the weekend, escaping the pocket to his left, identifying A.T. Perry wide open all the way on the other side of the field in the right corner of the end zone and throwing a ball 48 yards in the air for a 15-yard touchdown to make that a one-score game. What do those two plays have in common? Jameis gave his guy a chance. The Saints have talented receivers with Alave, Michael Thomas, Rashid Shaheen, and apparently even A.T. Perry. And they need a quarterback who is going to give them ample opportunities to make plays. Derek Carr just wasn't doing that nearly enough, and it's why the Saints offense and team as a whole has struggled through 10 weeks. Jameis, he not going to play clean football, but not that Carr was anyway. But famous Jameis gives this Saints team the best chance to win the NFC South. Speaking of the NFC South, there happens to be a clown coaching the Atlanta Falcons. Go check out my recent practice point of view for more on that. And here's that answer to the trivia question, the one I teased at the top. I'll see y'all right back here tomorrow for Fan Friday.